They called me crazy when I bought this thing, but we're about to use it for siding. But still, we're using it, so it wasn't a waste of money. If I recall correctly, that sucker could hold up to 500 pounds. I would probably double check that though before, you know, loading it up. Comes super useful if you only have a 5 foot 5 bed, guys. Tiny bed. For a work truck. Not right. Alright guys, you saw it firsthand. That was the first time I used the bed extender in a while. Actually, that's the first time ever. Right there. I'll show you what comes with it, but essentially the reason why I bought the bed extender is because I have the 5.5 foot bed. Yeah, not the greatest. And that, that toolbox up there takes up a good chunk of my space too. Here it is, this is the bed extender. Uh, now, you do have to have a 2-inch hitch receiver. Uh, that is the one from the factory. Um, so I think really any, uh, any standard size hitch should be able to accommodate this bad boy here. Assembling is fairly easy, but let me just show you what comes with it. You have the rack itself right here, which by the way is adjustable. And then you actually have the arm that's extending it. Uh, now you do also have these two pins. Obviously they slide through. You'll slide this one through here uh, And then this one obviously attaches to the receiver hitch and then this one is what slides into the rack and it's, it's adjustable so just slide it in there. Since this bed extender is pretty fast and pretty easy to put on I might as well just show you guys how to do it. It is powder coated in black and uh, textured, if you couldn't already tell. So this bed extender is rated for up to 500 pounds. Uh, I'm actually sitting on it right now, but I don't weigh 500 pounds. Uh, and you know, this thing's holding just fine, no issues. Obviously you are going to get a little bit of bounce, uh, but that's normal. Also under the website, you'll see that this thing fits from a 97 to a 2019 F-150, uh, but it also says that it matches up with any uh, receiver hitch that's two inches, like that dude. So I assume this thing should work for really any truck that has a two inch hitch receiver. So this being its first official use, uh, I just had to show you guys the thing in action. Uh, granted, we didn't take a bunch of weight, uh, but it was still pretty cool to actually, to finally use this thing at first i was i thought i was never going to use this thing you know since that truck over there has an eight foot bed but in emergency cases like this you know thing came in handy helped us out a lot that truck does have a tire that i don't know has a puncture or something in it so that needs to be resolved and it shouldn't really be carrying any payload so we'll pull out this guy for it that is it guys i just wanted to show you this awesome bed extender now it doesn't necessarily just have to be for work you know but could probably take a canoe or really anything. This thing's awesome. Tailgate down, bed extender right here. You do have these little attachment points on either end uh, to secure whatever load you're taking. Uh, and that is it, guys. You've just extended your bed without copping one of those guys. So obviously in my line of work, you're gonna be carrying a lot of lumber that may be 16 feet long or 12 feet long, whatever it may be, but that sometimes was a struggle on the eight foot bed so you can imagine a five and a half foot bed not a pretty sight that we could throw this on on the eight foot bed and then bam we just extended that or we could just use it on this guy and take 
you know, anything longer than five and a half feet because it won't be a struggle anymore. So obviously guys, you wanna use some common sense too. You don't wanna load something that's ridiculously long, 20 feet LVLs or whatever it may be guys. That's just uh, no, no. All right guys, so I do have my tape measure set out here. Go ahead and see. Right around four feet up to where the uh, receiver hitch is at. And then, you know, it's supposed to go a little bit more. But that really doesn't matter, guys, because it's that's in the hitch. It's not really doing anything. So, roughly around four feet on the extender. The rack itself is adjustable uh, to meet with the tailgate. And thus, extend your bed. That is going to do it for the bed extender, guys. That thing is a lifesaver, especially if you have the five foot five bed or if you have the six foot bed. Definitely nice to have that as a backup. I picked up the bed extender for around $65. However, I did recently check on the website. It has gone up to $100, so I picked it up at the right time. However, guys, it's definitely a lifesaver and just very nice to have. Just toss that to the side if you're not going to use it, but if you know you need that extra space, guys, definitely worth it. High quality all around. It's a little off topic here, but I am also planning to wrap the truck. That was kind of already a given. I don't know what it is. It just, you know, you wrap one thing, you want to wrap everything. It's just the life of a rapist. Anywho, we got some wrap here. This is a roll that I purchased a long time ago. However, the website that I bought it off, Metro Restyling, made an error, and they sent me the wrong kind of vinyl. And I told them about it, and they're like, okay, send it to us back and everything. But I looked at it, and I kind of liked it. Now, bear in mind, this was like months ago uh, when I got it. And I saw it, and I was like, you know what? This is a nice color. I should do the truck in this color. And it's this. Very high gloss gray. Let's see if I can get you guys in very glossy gray now i forgot the exact color but i can put that in the webs in the description it's pretty nice it's not bad my only issue with this vinyl is that it resembles pretty closely to one of the factory colors that you can pick up the ford f-150s in i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. it's like some sort of cement gray or something along those lines but it's pretty identical to this gray and there's really no reason for me to wrap a vehicle that already has that factory color as an option because then people are just going to think it's that factory color option no guys no if i want to put all that effort into wrapping a vehicle this color better be completely different and just something that stands out above the rest that is it for today's video guys hope you all enjoy that one do not forget to subscribe like and comment all at the same time and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace take care